we looked at it as this amazing story and opportunity and wanted to kind of dive right in. And right away we thought, you know, uh, we could write a, a version of this that could be interesting, but I don't know that it would be as resonant because it really is about, you know, ultimately the, the end of the movie without giving too much away is about um, what life was like uh, for women, particularly during this time. Um, and, you know, maybe has some, you know, echoes and vestiges of good connection to the present. But we didn't try to say, oh, we're making a statement about the present. We tried to talk about this, this our, you know, our sort of ancestral cult, Western European culture from the Middle Ages. It was fun working with Matt, and I'm really proud of the movie. And Jody's amazing in it, you know. Adam is really, really good. And those two parts were pivotal, you know. The movie, because of the delicate nature of sort of the unreliable narrators at the beginning and then the reveal of, of, of the real story, in, in our view, you know, it had to be subtle, it had to be nuanced, and, and also we didn't want to feel preachy or obvious. Um, so it had to feel real, even the villains had to feel real. Ridley had a wonderful idea for the hair and the robes and the jewelry and the whole thing as like sort of embodying privilege and, you know, luxury and all these things, which in particular at that time really stood in stark contrast to the way people lived, you know. Um, but it also meant that I could really take risks and go a long way as an actor. There are some great villain portrayals in history, so it does give you an opportunity to play things that you don't usually get to play. Um, so, you know, look, I love this movie. I loved working with Matt and Nicole. Uh, I'd love to do it again. Ridley's spectacular. The actors are great.